Taking wider market naming conventions as a starting point, Speng's choice to label their new SUV the G9 would suggest this car is a full-size SUV. After all, the Li Auto L9 is a mighty six-seater beast, that stretches well beyond five meters in length. The same cannot be said of the G9, however, which comes in at just 4.891 meters long and has a conventional two-row, five-seat setup. It is, therefore, a slightly curious decision, one that tells potential customers they're supersizing when they're not. A more appropriate name might be G7, which would at least align with the similarly sized NIO ES7, which itself seems to be reframing NIO's nomenclature from even numbers to odd, akin to BMWs and Audi SUVs. But while the naming of the G9 is yet another odd choice from Speng, let's instead give the car a chance to do the talking. Starting at the front, it doesn't take a detective to see the family resemblance in the new G9. In fact the familiar lightsaber running lights along the top look to have been taken directly from the stylish P7 unchanged. As ever, these sit above headlamp units mounted lower down, though the G9's larger face necessitates bigger units here. It's also partly due to the need to house a pair of LiDAR units a la P5 here, as well as some additional DLR details. Speng seen content on keeping the LiDAR units lower down, flying in the face of many rivals who are sitting theirs atop the windscreen. Whether this inhibits the ability of the units is up for question, but it does at least make for a cleaner design. Further down, it's gloss black plastic and a little chrome trim as ever, and under the bonnet, you'll find a frunk with 71 liters of storage. Along the sides, Speng has again taken a gentle approach to detail, with softly sculpted shoulders and doors with no sharp edges. In the side profile, you can clearly see that Speng have pushed the 21-inch wheels right out to the corners, which makes for an attractive and muscular stance. Round the back, a full-width light bar with square detailing stretches across the tail, while that familiar gloss black plastic helps remove the feeling of weight. The G9 also comes with a huge rear spoiler which conceals a top-mounted rear window wiper. In the back, a 660-liter boot expands to 1,576 liters with the seats down. Spengs have often impressed in terms of tech and on-road dynamics but the interiors have remained frustratingly bipolar. The P7 looked decent, but had disappointingly cheap materials in prominent places. The P5, for all the multifunctional options it could come with, paired a great operating system with a portrait-style screen, and missed basic functions like reach-adjustable steering, lumbar support, and even rear seat folding. In the end, it was all emblematic of a brand that seemed unsure of their place in the world. Were they premium? Were they mainstream? It seemed they were just confused, chasing style over substance. Thankfully, it seems, they finally know, because the G9 has corrected all of that and in a big way. Stepping aboard, whether in the front or the back, the G9 feels like something of a masterpiece. From the beautifully sculpted chairs that resemble the Canton Tower to the twin 15.6-inch screens on the dash, to the strong ambient lighting and two-spoke steering wheel, the G9 is next level Speng, and not a moment too soon. A wheelbase coming in at a width under 3 meters also ensures there's more than enough space no matter which row you choose to sit in. It's here, before we even come to the feature list and functionality of the G9, that you start to feel Speng has finally understood that a great car gets the basics right first and foremost. Gone are the silly oversights of features every car should have. Gone too are the rough edges. Nope. Here we have a proper premium interior done right, and it's marvelous. It begins with soft touch napper leather on the main surfaces, artificial leather on the door pockets, and down the side of the center console continues with twin wireless phone chargers angled towards the riders and extends up to the twin screens on the dash. These run on the super fast Snapdragon 8155 processor and use Zweng's own software which is slick and has the best voice recognition on the market. On the passenger side screen, 
a filter blocks the driver from distraction while the passenger binges on Billy Billy videos. Front seats feature heating, ventilation, and massage functionality, while rear seats get heating and massage functions built in too. Even better, the driver's seat gets full adjustability, including base cushion extension and tilting, reach and rake steering, and headrest mounted speakers for driver only notifications. The front passenger gets a full on leg rest for laid back travel. Even the outside rear seats get base cushion extension, correcting my major gripe with modern EVs, as well as backrest angle adjustment up to 10 degrees like on the Zecro 01. But there's more. The G9 can come equipped with a 28 unit, 2250 watts Dean audio sound system for some serious audio visual experience. That's 90 watts more than the Li Auto L9, and more than double the pretty good system, in the Ito M5. The G9's 5D Opera system combines the audio units with the fragrance system, ventilation, massage functions, and screens, to make for the most immersive AV experience in a car yet. Sure, it's a little gimmicky, it wouldn't be in Speng without something like that, but it's pretty cool. All in all, the interior of the G9, is a major improvement on previous Peng models and hopefully shows the direction the brand will be going in from now on. Being in it the G9 is whisper quiet too while on the move, but significantly more so than the P7. Steering, as ever, remains on the easy side as with nearly all local market cars, but the three setting adjustment in the driving menu can provide an extra feel if required. Coming in at 4.891 meters long, 1.937 meters wide, and 1.67 meters tall, the G9 is still fairly large but doesn't feel quite so big out on the road. Large windows make placing the car on the road quite easy, while the 360 degree camera and wheels in corners stance make parking quite simple too. In terms of the Odyss functionality, the G9 will come with XNGP, the next level of Speng's well known self driving suite, and will include both highway and city autonomous driving when available. Here the G9 gets a significant boost in terms of brain power, utilizing the Nvidia Drive or an X system that boasts 508 tops of processing, dwarfing not only the 20 tops of the P5 but also the roughly 140 tops of Tesla's FSD. From the launch, there are two powertrain options, two battery choices, and three model variants of the G9 to choose from. Starting with motors, G9s come with either a rear-mounted 230 kilowatts, 308 bhp, motor boasting 430 newton meters of torque or, in the performance edition, twin motors that combine that same rear-mounted motor with an additional front-mounted 175 kilowatts, 235 bhp, motor, giving a combined 405 kilowatts, 543 bhp, and 717 newton meters of torque. That's enough to get the G9 from 0 to 100 km per hour in a tidy 6.4 seconds in RWD form, and a pretty hair-raising 3.9 seconds in dual motor guise. On the battery front, buyers can choose from either a 78.2 kWh motor, available only on RWD models, or the somewhat bigger 98 kWh motor which is available in both RWD and AWD variants. The single motor version with the long range battery tops the tables with a claimed CLTC range of 702 km, 436 miles, while twin motor versions muster 650 km, 404 miles. Bringing up the rear is the single motor standard battery option that claims 570 km, 354 miles, on a single charge. Based on our experience in the P5, expect around 77% of that number in real-world driving. One thing to note here is that the G9 is the first Speng to be built on 800 volts architecture. This means, when charged with Speng's latest 4C supercharger, the G9 can add 200 km of charge in just 5 minutes. 3C chargers add 130 km in 5 minutes. Speng name their cars after their claimed mileage, so prices start at just 309,900 Chinese yuan, 
tilde dollar 42,700 for the base 570 plus, rising to 349,900 Chinese yuan tilde dollar 48,250 for the 570 max. On 702 models the price ranges between 349,900 Chinese yuan and 369,900 Chinese yuan, tilde dollar 48,250-51,000, and 650 twin motor versions cost between 399,900 Chinese yuan and 469,900 Chinese yuan. Tilde dollar fifty five comma one hundred dash sixty four thousand eight hundred dollars. The best thing, price and cabin ambience. The worst thing, indicator sounds are intrusively loud. Power and drive feeling nine. Passenger space nine. Tech and UX ten. Price quality ratio nine. Every part of the G nine feels top notch. From the attractive styling, sumptuous and well-equipped interior, industry-leading Odyssey system, road manners, and of course the price. The G9 is the coming of age of Speng without a doubt. All that remains is to see whether it can take sales up to 20,000 a month. Dear friends, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you all.